Hello, welcome back to a, another Chill Dofus video. Today we're going, going to be doing the quest called Don't Judge a Book by Its Cover. So if you like this video, please do subscribe and we'll get right into it. So, what we have to do is come to the library in Astrid, talk to Prent. I've already started the quest. So once you've talked to Prent, uh, you have to uh, express your surprise, run away, uh, no, you actually reply and you thank him and then now you get the quest. So we're just going to go through little bits and pieces of the quest. So you do need some items before you get started. So it's best if you've got five gobble wool, ten pepper measure and we also need five millerat droppings. But the tricky thing with that is it's a quest item. So you can't actually buy them you have to drop them so you can only get them once you've um, reached a certain point of the quest so what we have to do is get up to that part then we have to beat um, some millerats and we need five droppings so it's a hundred percent drop rate uh, once we're there so we'll talk to Virgil we have to pay 50 karmas we have to uh, Quest item. So have to go through, and we have to click that link in the book right at the last page, and then we go back and we talk to Print. And we've got a few more little bits and pieces of talking. We have to beat six best dressed bandits as well. I'll show you those locations of where they are in just a minute. But first we'll go and talk to Prent. So continue showing the book. Ah, uh, whoops. I clicked too quick. Show him the book. Stare at him. Offer to help. Go see the apprentice. So a bit more running, we have to talk to Circle Drawed and Odetta Nate. And then we have to beat six best dressed bandits. Now I'm not sure how much they do, what their health is like, but we'll find out soon. Make sure I put my Aquadella stuff. You can see I've been crafting a little bit, so I've got a whole bunch of junk I have to get rid of. So we'll just go over to Circle, who's over one more page. Circle's down here. Agree to help out. And then now we have to go and talk to Odetta. 5 minus 15. Um, it doesn't really matter which way we run. It's probably going to take the same amount of time going either way. So we'll just continue to run. Lots of running in this quest. We do have to come back to the sewers here, 5 minus 17 later. So we'll go down, we'll talk to Odetta. Um, who is here somewhere? Click on the Y. Uh, Pay 50 comes to see inside and then we can see a debtor. Right, okay. Whoops. Accept the deal. So now we have to beat six best dressed bandits. So they can be found at minus two. I'm not sure if it puts it on your map actually. Let's take a look. So we'll recenter our map. Doesn't look like it does. So we have to go to minus two. 
minus 21 uh, there and minus 1 minus 21 so we have to go up here so I'll put I'll place a flag there so we know where we're running and we'll start our long journey of running again we'll go and fight the six best dressed bandits it says there's two maps so I'm not sure if there's three on each map or if there's six on each map but we'll find that out soon enough so once we've beaten them we have to go back and talk to Circle who's at the uh, alchemist workshop I'm pretty sure that was Circle and we have to take five gobble wool to him which we've already got in our bag ten pepper we've got but we need five millerat droppings as well so that's when we can go down to the sewer and start beating the millerats and we should be dropping the millerat droppings once we've given that to circle circle will give us one revealing powder and we take that back to print and that is the end of the quest but first what we have to do is enter a fight just move some stuff on my table right these best dressed bandits so it looks like there's three Okay, I'll go first, so we'll start over here. How much health do they have? 160. So I can kill them in a couple turns. I'll just put my bag there. Yes, please, come to me. Mm. Go like that. Cool. So we've beaten those three, and then also we have to go left one map and also beat the next three. So it looks like they do about 50 damage per hit, so we want to make sure that if you're doing this quest you can manage that, and they've got 160 health, and there's three of them. So he should run to me, hopefully. Excellent. Go like that. With a bit of luck, we'll move forward so we complete the challenge. And hit him. Cool. So now we have to go back and we talk to Circle again. So once we've finished this custom location, we can right click on it and we'll remove the landmark. We don't want to go remove all because then that will remove this quest one. It's easy enough, I think you can just you can toggle that on and off by clicking the little icon bar there. Not sure what you'd call it, the little dropper. Like maps tool, whatever. I don't know what it's called. Right, we'll go to circle. We'll talk to circle and then we'll give circle some items. Keep listening. Right, so we can give him. Ah, oh, you might have to do it all at the same time. So we do have the wall, we do have the pepper, which I'll show you in my inventory. I've got 10 pepper, 10 wool, you only need 5. And now we need 5 millerat droppings. So we'll go to the uh, Astrop sewers. I said was at the 5 minus 17 once we're there we have to beat 5 millerats so across one Take us to 517. If you can't see it on your map, click the Y, you'll be able to see you can go there. And uh, we'll go to the next one. There's one Millerat. 
So we need five. So we'll just go through and... Oh, this map sucks. Not doing the challenge. I just want to beat him as quick as I can. Oh, just one off. Right, that ooh, won't be enough, I don't think, unless it critical hits. It does. That's handy. So, yes, we've got one Millerat dropping. Excellent. But, <laughs> we need five. So we need to kill another four. So, there's one there. Oh, let's just do it anyway. Hopefully get a better map. Mm, it's not too bad. We can do this. Alright, now come to me, please. So I can do more damage. Alright, we'll run this way. Hopefully get to the Ramen and the Millerat soon. Oh, he took one, one point away from me. That's okay. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> Can't really do anything. Just don't take AP from me and I think we're okay. Move here, so hopefully he'll run to me. Two AP from me, wow. i have still get one move off. That kills him. I'll run up to him. And... Do, 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 do. Oh, we'll just do coins throwing. We should, we'll have him next turn. Right, that's two. That took a while. Interesting. Right. There's another one here. That's good. Let's we'll come over here and sit. What I might do is pause the video and finish off these fights and then I'll be back to finish off the quest. Okay now I'm back. I've got the five Millerat droppings and the other items needed. So we'll talk to Circle. Oh, I just realized it's Searle. It's not even Circle. Oh, oh well. And now we've got one revealing powder. We take this back to print and this quest is done. It's taken a little while to get this one done especially with the fighting off screen. But the experience and that, it definitely isn't worth it. But it's just another quest that we can tick off the list. And it gives us another quest after, which I'll do later and upload to YouTube as well. So we'll just make our way back to the library. We'll go inside and talk to print. to print, 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 print. Give the revealing powder. You can hear the ding. Quest finished. Don't judge a book by its cover. Which was, I'm assuming it was a side quest. Not a main one. Anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one soon.